So even then, this idea of these kind of collaborative conversations, people could see the value of them, but they weren't working in terms of, you know, how much it it costs to take people out of the office, get people together in an expensive location, perhaps hiring a facilitator. Um, so yeah, so this idea of, you know, getting people together, probably the most expensive people in the organization at an expensive location for a length of time, which obviously costs the company. And yet these conversations weren't not only, you know, you might have had a good time in those sessions and it might have felt productive, but they weren't leading to anything in the business. They weren't leading to any change. Um, and so this article, Offsites at Work, was about how to, you know, not only have a productive discussion, but also make sure that they have like, real value um, for the company. And I think when people have repeated experiences like that, where um, it's either the day itself wasn't useful or the day may have been useful, it might have felt like fun, but then there was no results afterwards. Doing that time mm. and time again, it gives workshops a bit of a bad name. Well, there's always this hope, isn't it? Like, we'll just, we'll get everybody in a room and then fingers crossed the magic will happen, right? But it's right. like what you're saying is that they need, you know, you need objectives. You need to know what you're working towards in these as well. 